Hi there. I'm Heather Telford, back with a wintry card featuring Penny Black's Cozy Cabin stamp. Before I start my process, I just want to show you how I splatter masking fluid on my watercolor paper. I pour a little into a plastic tray and then I smoosh some dish detergent into whatever brushes I'm using and then pick up masking fluid from the tray. The brush I'm using has a little pin and that's what flicks the masking fluid off the bristles. And I always have that pin adjacent to the panel that I'm splattering on and I turn the handle towards that panel. Sometimes I want bigger splatters, so I just use a cheap brush, still put a little bit of dish detergent in, and then I pick up some masking fluid and flick it off the brush with a toothpick. Often I will give my panels a splatter with the um, small bristles and then with the other brush as well. Once the masking fluid is dry, I'm ready to make a background on the panel. I'm smushing some peacock feathers distress ink onto a glass mat and then spritzing it generously with water. And then I get my watercolor panel that has the masking fluid and just swipe it and move it around in that ink. It's just one color of ink uh, and I want some on the panel that I can then dilute and move around. So I'm just using a spritzer to dilute that ink and move it around. You can see that I don't want it on the whole panel. I'm going to do some stamping on that panel. So I want some space that's still white. Basically, I'm looking for a bit of a cloudy sky look. And the best way I find to get that is to tilt the panel and let the ink move. I also use paper towel if I want to remove some of the ink. The first thing I'm going to do is stamp the cottage part of the stamp in broken china ink. Broken china is a light blue and that's going to be similar to my kind of light aqua sky. So I'm inking that snowy shadow at the base of the cabin and then I'm just using an ink pad to ink the rest of the stamp. I'm not worried about the trees at the moment but I am removing the ink from the smoke that's coming out of the chimney. Having this pale image already stamped gives me an idea of what I'm working with, where I want to add the color. I also have stamped the image on a piece of scratch paper in a dark ink, so I have a reference. I'm going to give myself some more of that Peacock Feathers Distress Ink because I'm painting some more of the sky. I'm going to go around the cozy cabin and remember this is the same color that I smushed that diluted sky uh, before I even started stamping. So I want all the sky color to match. So I'm picking it up from the glass mat and then painting around the edge of the cabin. I'm keeping it fairly diluted so that it will end up blending into the ink that I already have on the panel. I'm painting it around the chimney so that area is wet. It's very diluted ink but it's still wet around the chimney and I will take advantage of that in a second. I'm also painting over the shadowy part of the stamped image in front of the cottage. I guess it's the shadow in the snow cast by the cottage and I'm going to do a few more shadows with that same mix of broken china and peacock feathers ink. Just a few extra snow drifts shadows of snowdrifts in the snow at the front of the cottage just to add some interest. I can dilute any of that sky area or shadowy snow with a paper towel while it's still wet. I also painted around the chimney there so that was wet and I'm purposely stamping in hickory smoke ink into that wet sky area because I want the smoke once stamped to bleed the edges to bleed a little into the sky and just painting over it with some water helps that happen as well. Now it's time to work on the cottage. All of the cottage coloring is basically done with two colors. I chose rusty hinge and black soot and I'm working with the markers so that I can have a little more precision in placing my color. Mixing those two colors will give me a vintage 
kind of old look to the cottage, which is what I'm after. Remember, I have this image stamped on a piece of scratch paper out of the frame, so I can look at that to see what all the elements of the cottage are, because sometimes it's hard to see all the detail on the back of the stamp. But also, I've got that print already on my stamped panel, so I can see a little bit there as well. My process is basically building up color and definition. So you'll see me go back and forth between the rusty hinge and the black soot and the blending several times in the video. I sometimes go off and do something else, like I work on the trees while the cottage dries, and then I'll do a little bit more definition on the cottage. So it isn't a um, quick, easy stamp and then it's done type process, but it is the same sort of thing that I do over again. I add a little bit more black, I add a little bit more of the rusty hinge. After this first impression, you can see there's not a lot of detail. I'm just basically blending those colors to fill the shape of the cottage, but I'll need to add a little bit more definition to the windows and I've lost some of the shape of the logs that the cabin is made out of and I'll come back and add more of that in later as well. While the cottage dries I'm going to work on the trees. I'm using pine needles distress ink and then just around the edges so that I'm not overlapping onto the cottage. I've switched to a marker just to help me get the ink in the right place. And I like my trees to be multicolored, as trees really are in life. So I have used a little bit of Stormy Sky Distress Ink as well. And then a little spritz on the stamp will start blending those inks together before it even hits the paper. And then it will continue to blend on the paper. Now that I've got a base of ink on the trees, I'm going to blend it with a paintbrush and also pick up extra ink from my glass mat to add to the trees as well, just to darken them. Remember, I've got little dots of masking fluid on my panel, so they resist the ink, uh, which is exactly what I want them to do, but it means that the stamped image isn't as uh, complete because the stamp hit the masking fluid. So Painting it with a paintbrush just means that I can add a little bit more color, fill in a little bit more color on the trees. I don't want to fill them in totally so that they are flat. I like the texture of the stamp, but I do need to fill them in a little bit. So that's what I uh, use the paintbrush for. And also I can build up the color with multiple stampings. And if you're not keen on doing all that painting on the trees, you can definitely do just a few stampings to build up that color a little bit more. Now I'm adding extra pine needles, both by stamping it and by picking it up with a brush. While that's been happening, my cottage stamping and inking has been drying. So I can go back to that. Just a little bit of definition on the chimney first with black soot marker. And now a bit of definition around all the little windows and around the doorway. You can add definition two ways and I do this. I add ink to the stamp, but I also use the markers to add ink directly to the panel as well. So with a very uh, small tip brush, I'm blending that black that I just stamped back into the log area so that you can see some of the definition of those logs beginning to appear again, which kind of got lost in the initial lot of blending. I want my 
door of my cozy cottage to be bright red because I think that will be festive and happy. So I've stamped that with candied apple distress ink and then I'm giving myself a little extra on the mat so that I can really fill that door in. I'm using the bullet tip end of the pine needles marker just to draw my wreath back in and the brush tip to fill in the color around the doorway with the rusty hinge. You can see that my method for working with a brush stroke, a brush stroke stamp like this is definitely building. Building up color, building up definition, going back in and adding detail with both the brush tip and the bullet tip of the marker. Just using those same colors to gradually paint and define all the detail in that cute little stamp. I'm adding more color to the frames of the windows both by blending what's there and using the bullet tip of the black soot marker and outlining the frame of the door as well. As I said before, you could do this with a marker or paintbrush or you can do this with repeat stamping. Either way, you'll just build up color and detail on your stamped image. I'm going to add a little bit more interest to my snowy roof now. There's one shadow uh, included in the stamp so I'm adding another shadow around the chimney and a little bit of shadow just down the sides of the big pile of snow that's on the roof. I want some warm inviting light shining out the windows so I'm adding that with a wild honey distress marker and then just dabbing it off a little. Last thing I'm going to do is just paint in a little path at the front door which disappears behind the snowbank. This is where the snow was cleared right near the front door. Something I know plenty about. Once your panel is totally dry from whatever your last stamping or painting was, you can remove the masking fluid. I use a gum eraser and just uh, remove it all. And now that the surface of the paper is flat, no masking fluid, I can just add some little more snowy details with a white gel pen. So I'm building up those little snow banks under the window little bit of snow around the window frames and around the door frame just to add to the overall coziness of the cozy cabin scene. I chose a sentiment from the Christmas feeling set which fits perfectly beside the trees into that little space above the cabin and I'm stamping that with Grand Espresso Archival ink. When I stamp my sentiments I try to choose a color that I've already used in the scene if I'm doing scenic stamping. So the Grand Espresso is like the dark brown mix of rusty hinge and black soot. Hope you enjoyed this technique. You probably saw that it's definitely a building process. Stamping, painting, stamping, painting. Thanks for joining me. Please check out my blog for more projects like this one. See you soon.